You already know what it is. It's your girl, Loud Pack Letha. You tuned in to the tea spill. Now, sometimes it's bitter, sometimes it's sweet, but it must be spilled. Now, Wednesday and Thursday have came and went, and you already know what that means, Empire and Scandal. So let's get right into it. Empire was the business, okay? It gave me all of my life, honey, all of my life. So let's just start where it begins. Lucius proposes to Boo Boo Kitty. Blew me, okay? It was cute, though, like low-key. He had Anthony Hamilton there, like, I can't stay away from you i was like oh yes give me my life anthony hamilton yes get it get it then he gave her this 18 karat rock but he vindictive and you always know he got motives um found out her daddy is a rich doctor and he want her daddy to stand off on his bill of health so he can get that ipo hmm catch t lucius mm. not to say that that's the only reason why he did it but i'm just saying it's mighty funny that right now he decides I'm going to marry Boo Boo Kitty. Next. Hmm. Tiana and Hakeem went to a red carpet event. And, you know, the interviewer was asking Hakeem some hard questions. And Tiana was basically holding him down like, lady, don't come for my boo. And he got talent and we going to show y'all. And he was like, yeah, just letting y'all know Drip Drop is on the way. And then we heard him play the song for Lucius, which was kind of a hit. Or, I ain't gonna say it was necessarily no hit. What I will say is that it was catchy. You know what I'm saying? Like, drip, drop, drip, drippity, drop. I was like, oh, okay, okay. But he wanna talk about nothing. And I guess that's very fitting for this type of day and age's rap. Um, that shit. Now, anyways, Jamal is still not giving in on the not taking none of Lucia's money. So he insists on going to a place called Ghetto Ass Studio. Which is literally a ghetto ass studio. Like when you walk in the damn door, they got bullet, bullet, uh, what you call it, bullet holes in the windows and shit. Like it was just ridiculous. The cookie was like, "Child, what's going on?" But of course she ain't for none. And she told him, "You don't get them suckers none of their money until you get everything you need." You hear me? Yes, yeah, she don't go. She's a like a mama bear. She ain't for none, baby. Protect the cub, honey. Now, when Cookie. Leaves out of the ghetto ass studio, the lady that she be meeting up with, who is a federal agent, of course, is stalking her and let her know she got to go on to the grand jury and testify against Frank Galveston or whatever his name is, because I don't really never hear what they say. I know his first name, Frank. But anyways, so she just is, you know, like, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm basically going to be a snitch. Like, it's one thing that I didn't told you information, but now you want me to go say this on a damn stand like i'm gonna really go testify in court but she had to do it in order to remain free so she goes and do it now grand juries are kept fully secret nobody's names is released or nothing like that but she still said like girl he got me everywhere i'm basically gonna be a dead bitch walking you know what i'm saying so she goes and does what she does at the grand jury and while there she found out that the guy that frank galveston killed was actually an fbi agent which like Makes the shit ten times worse. And she like, oh my God, you ain't tell me he was a fed. I'm definitely a dead bitch walking. So, you know, she go home to do whatever she's doing. And on the way out to go meet Jamal at the ghetto ass studio, she found a rose on her, you know, floor mat outside her door. And she like, it freaks her out because the man who she used to run drugs for, his stamp on, you know, his merchandise was a rose. You know, so she go back in the crib. Grab the pistol, get some bread, and as she's walking out the door, Andre scared the shit out of her. She like, what the hell you doing at the door looking like the phantom, uh, uh, ghetto phantom of the opera? I start down laughing. I say, cookie ass off the chains like she don't be going. But anyways, he's there, of course, to try to get her on board with having Tiana in Hakeem's video so they can use some of Tiana production money. And, you know, she like, okay, if you want Tiana in the video, you need to make me a member of that board. And he like, I don't know if I can do that, blah, blah, blah. She like, no board, no Tiana. Walks out on him. Then she calls, you know. I mean, Jamal calls her because he's struggling with the song. She helps him fix that because she is a musical genius. You know, she does her thing on the production side. And then she hails her a cab. 
gives him about a rat to take her to Philly and she goes and talks to her sister about what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Because that role scared the shit out of her. Like, oh my God, this shit just happened a few hours ago. This man about to kill me already. So her and her sister go to a cousin who is like a hitman. She give him five racks and tell him, take care of it. Mm. And she miss Tony Montana or something. Like she ain't for none. Like I love Cookie's role. I love how she dressed. That them hats be on point and giving me my life. And yes, bitch, yes. Yes. Next Cookie. We're gonna yes. talk about Andre and his vindictive wife. So basically they're trying to get the throne. So they're trying to pin Jamal and Hakeem against each other. So in this episode, we see Andre and his wife set Hakeem up because you know she finds out that Tiana is a lesbian which we found out earlier in the episode but we actually get the proof and she's like kissing this girl on a on a photo shoot and so they take pictures of them and they upload them to all the social media and basically Hakeem finds out and blows up at the drip drop um video shoot and he needed his daddy to remind him that two is better than one like how slow are you Anyways, next, so that plan didn't work for Andre. And then he also put up, uh, he sent some goons basically off to go up to the ghetto ass uh, studio and rob Jamal. And in the midst of that, Jamal's engineer actually gets shot. So that kind of like fucked up his day. But he brings it all together and he gets, you know, his song together, which is actually hit. And it's so crazy because I cannot for the life of me remember what the song was about. But I know that it was a good song. I think I probably had to listen to it a few more times. And then, you know, I would have caught on. But nevertheless, I digress. Now, um, up next in the next week's episode, you know, we're going to find out that, you know, uh, Lucius's right-hand man suspects him of killing Bunky, which we all know that he did kill Bunky. So, we got a lot of good stuff coming up. And, you know, give me y'all thoughts and let me know what y'all think. But now, we got to jump straight into Scandal. First of all, let's just start where it ended because we can't even start where it began. We're going to work our way from the end to the beginning. Liv can't be saved. Like, bitch, would you let somebody save you? Did you forget that all the most powerful men in the world fuck with you? Except your daddy. See, if you had your daddy, you probably would have been un- been released. They probably never would have even been able to get your ass. See, you need command in your corner. And he told your ass, you going to want me. You going to need me, bitch. She could have used them when she had that big ass fro. And she like, she didn't take a bath in days. That ain't my business. Now, she gets herself free. She basically sets herself on the black market to the highest bidder. Because, you know what I'm saying? She is, uh, what do you call it? Um... What is the word that I'm looking for? Damn. I can't think of it, but she is one of those. She's vital. Like, you will want her on your team. Who the fuck would want Olivia Pope on their team? Like, she fixes everything. Let me give you a few reasons why I feel like Millie is a real bitch. Millie is a real bitch because she loved her man so much, she want him to be happy. When she found out that Liv was captured, she was like, I thought you said you loved her. Like, how you not gonna save her? Like, Millie, you a GG. And then, not only that... She straight went in, got it cracking with the vice president so she can get them phones for old girl who Huck tortured the shit out of. How you gonna threaten Huck, bitch? Like, did you think that that was gonna work? Tell me something. You'll never see Olivia Pope again. That nigga started chuckling like, bitch, no. You not gonna see daylight if you don't stop playing with me. Like, girl, her back looked like she had been whipped by a, a slave master, honey. Like, Huck wasn't going. And then, you know, um, Marla Gibbs, like, how can we not talk about this episode and not talk about her? Like, if you don't know who Marla Gibbs is, you clearly not know 80s, baby, and you too young to be having this conversation with me. Like, she is the business. She's from the Jefferson. She was the maid. She was the mom on 227. And, you know, she's been featured in a lot of shit over the years. Like, of course, she came on screen giving nothing but attitude and real diva tease. I was like, yes, Marla Gibbs. And shout out to Shonda Rhimes and Lee Daniels for giving us all these classic black actors and, you know what I'm saying, musicians and stuff on primetime TV. Like, let these people get into um what we got going on so they'll know it's real in the field. Now, the vice president really, you know, came on the show just running shit from the jump like, Straight sent the CIA in the uh, fist office like, yeah, we watching you. Don't don't even do nothing because um, everybody, you can't trust nobody. Like, baby, that's tea, honey. Now, 
Y'all give me y'all thoughts and what y'all think on it because like so much happened in the episode that it's like I can't even get into everything. But it was a great episode and I can't wait to see what happens with this black market beer, honey. Now, that's all I got for y'all on the tea spill, honey. I tried hard. Now, let me know what y'all think. That's tea.